feels like they have an idea. Who could tell me the exact definition of what DevOps is? Really? Wow. What do you think DevOps is? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Does any, do people have a vague idea of what they think DevOps is? Buzzword. All right. It's like running service, right? Kind of, okay. So at Living Social, I work on a team we called TechOps Tools because we didn't want to call it DevOps. We thought about developer happiness. We don't really know what we do, honestly. Here's our priorities, though. Uh, we're basically, our, our ops team was a bottleneck, and we couldn't figure out how to solve that, so we just made another team, which isn't ideal, but it got us toward figuring out the problem a little bit. Um, so step one is, our priority one is unblocking devs who need infrastructure resources. Priority two is make that easier in the future. Priority three never actually happens, but we got a lot of other things we'd like to do. Oops, devs, DevOps. I, I modified these slides from an internal presentation right before this, so DevOps is not like this. <laughs> so one of the main things we wanted to solve was that we'd go to our ops team and say, we need this thing done, and they'd you know, disappear into some cavernous realm and do some magic, and the databases would churn, and then they'd come back and say, it's done. We had no clue what they did. So we try, we're trying to not only unbottleneck them, but make it apparent and transparent what they're doing. So what is DevOps? Nobody really knows. Nothing's kind of a close definition, maybe. So this is the Wikipedia definition. I'm not going to read it. It's long. It's boring. I don't know if you'll fall asleep during it while I'm reading it. I don't have much time. Here's a funnier definition. <laughs> I've done that before. Um, here's a somewhat funny definition. Uh, Agile, DevOps, Internet of Things. When devs discover these things, we like to make some new terms for them and make them seem really special and, you know, like we discovered them and they're awesome. In fact, now you can get DevOps certifications. If you want to get your own DevOps certification, go to DevOpsLeague.com. You can get your own certificate to print out and post on your whatever you post. Like League of Legends? Like what? League of Legends? <laughs> I couldn't hear you, sorry. But, yeah, go, go to DevOpsLeague.com if you want a little entertaining DevOps quiz. Uh, that'll get you a cert at the end in, in about five to ten minutes, depends on that. So it, it, DevOps has kind of gotten full of itself, too. It kind of thinks of itself as this continuation of all these other buzzword terms, and, you know, it ends in a cyborg that's going to take over the world. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other, if you're interested, you can read these nuanced, detailed, kind of, in boring blog posts about what it is. One thing I found useful is knowing what things aren't. So here's a decent list from one of those. It's not just PR for what's always been done. It's, it doesn't mean giving developers the root password. It doesn't mean all system administrators should write code. Um, we don't need system administrators is not true. Uh, DevOps doesn't require you to use a specific tool. So here's a bunch of things DevOps isn't. That doesn't really bring us too much closer to what it is. So probably most of you have heard of Agile. Then one nice thing about Agile, it's another one of these buzzwords for a movement, but Agile has this benefit of having a manifesto. It's super short, there it is. You can probably read it while I'm talking. If you haven't, go read the Agile manifesto. It is very concise and nice, and Agile has been, you know, perverted in some ways. There's conferences, there's all sorts of certifications. Some people now think you have to have certain tools. And all this confusion happens even though Agile has this manifesto. DevOps doesn't even have that, so it's even more confusing. So my favorite short definition of DevOps is the essence of DevOps is empathy. So I'll let that sink in. All right. So em empathy is some, it, it's its own other overloaded word, but one that we can probably relate to a little bit more than DevOps without having to look up a definition on Wikipedia. And I think this is really where if, you're, if you don't know anything about DevOps and someone asks you about it, just replace that word with empathy in your mind and you'll just be on a good start. Uh, another thing I like is an idea is uh, this quote from the Dalai Lama, if you want to be happy, practice compassion. If, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. The Dalai Lama seems to know a little bit about happiness. I think of compassion as kind of putting empathy into action. So if you, empathy is kind of if you can feel what someone else is feeling, that's great. Now try and act on that and see what would you do because of that feeling, because of what you've realized they're going through in some way. And this will lead you to the greater good for all. So where do you start? Who knows? Right? That, that's a kind of a big, vague, you know, thing sounding. S start scratching your own itch. Often that will be something that turns out bugs other people too. 
And again, this was adopted from an internal presentation where I'm trying to promote my own team that's trying to help other people and, and improve communication and empathy across teams. So this is one way you can start is if you have these issues, go fix them yourself and then share that work with other people. That's a form of empathy even if it's starting from a self-centered point. Then you can say, you know, actually practice empathy. What bothers others? Let's go try and fix that. Contribute to some more open source projects. You know, if they submit a bad PR, don't like just suddenly knock on them and tell them they're an idiot. You know, help some newbies, help some people, level them up, that kind of thing. And one thing about DevOps is it's really kind of uh, evolved. So it's not really just about Dev and Ops. It's about kind of all these departments working better together and understanding what they're doing for the greater good so that the whole can perform better. So this is what I think my next job title should be. Um, so I work across all these teams and really empathize with everyone. So we'll see if I ever get there. But uh, that was my short spiel on what DevOps can mean in a nice way. So hope you enjoy it.